David can bicycle at a rate of 12 miles per hour when there is no wind. Against the wind, David bikes 8 miles in the same time that it takes to bike 14 miles with the wind. What is the speed of the wind? First of all, we familiarize ourselves with the situation, and the first thing that I would do in the situation is to think about what it means to bicycle against the wind and with the wind. Against the wind, you're fighting the wind, so you're going to slow down in your rate. You'll have to take the amount of the fast as you usually go, 12 miles an hour, and subtract the wind speed. If you're bicycling with the wind, that means it's behind you, you'll be able to go faster. You take your rate of 12 miles per hour and you add the wind speed. Since we're asked to find what the speed of the wind is, we will define that variable. We will let W equal the speed of the wind. The speed against the wind then, like we said, will be 12 minus W, and the speed with the wind would be 12 plus W. Whenever we have a motion situation, we should organize our information in a table. And the table will look something like this. And the columns that we'll use every time are distance, speed or rate, and time. And this, we, we use speed and rate interchangeably often. And then over here, you can write the two distance situations. In this case, we're going against the wind and with the wind. And then we fill in everything that we know. I usually start by filling in the numbers that I know. Against the wind, it was 8 miles. With the wind, 14 miles. So the distances I fill in. The speeds we just worked with, we had 12 minus W for the speed or the rate against the wind, and 12 plus W for the speed or the rate with the wind. The times are unknown, so we can use the formula time equals distance over rate to fill those in, or we could just at this point use T because that's the same amount of time. So in the translate step, we'll use the idea that time is distance divided by rate, and if we have against, when we go against the wind, the time would be the distance 8 divided by the rate or speed 12 minus w, and with the wind, the time would be the distance 14 divided by the rate 12 plus w, and we're told in the problem that those times are equal. So now we have an equation that we can solve. And we solve the equation 8 divided by 12 minus w equals 14 divided by 12 plus w. Whenever we have a rational equation, we want to first clear the fractions, multiplying both sides of the equation by the least common multiple, which in this case is 12 minus w times 12 plus w. So we multiply this by 12 minus w times 12 plus w, and that multiplies the expression 8 divided by 12 minus w. And on the other side of the equation, we multiply 12 minus w times 12 plus w times the expression 14 divided by 12 plus w. And when we multiply this times this times 8 and divide it by 12 minus w, the 12 minus w in the denominator and the 12 minus w in the numerator will cancel, and we'll be left with 8 times 12 plus w. And when we multiply on this side, the 12 plus w in the numerator will cancel the 12 plus w in the denominator, and we'll be left with 14 times 12 minus w. Then we multiply, we have 96 plus 8w equals 168 minus 14w. We add 14w to both sides and subtract 96 from both sides. We get 22w equals 72. Dividing both sides by 22, we get w equals 36 over 11. Or since we're dealing with speed, we might write that as 3 and 3 elevenths. 
So to check, we need to check a wind speed of 3 and 3 11 miles per hour. Now to check this, you might want to use a calculator because we have a, a fraction here. We would find the speed against the wind, which would be 12 minus 3 and 3 11. So we'd find the speed with the wind, which would be 12 plus 3 and 3 11. And we would calculate the time that it took to travel the given distances with those speeds. And we would find that the times would be the same, so this does check. And so we state then that the speed of the wind is 3 and 3 11 miles per hour.